Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Bra Nutrition CEO. Friday here in Lebanon, Ohio. I got a question from Scott about Zercher squats. Scott doesn't have a squat rack yet. He's going to get one, so fear not, folks. Fear not, lifting freaks. Scott's getting a squat rack. But in the meantime, he wants to know if he can do Zercher squats to build his legs and maintain some of that squat strength. So I'm gonna get into this topic here in just a second. Before I do so, guys, this is hashtag, hashtag, ask B-H-U-D, the big, hairy, ugly dude, the big, hairy, ugly dude. If you have a question for me, there is a link below. Post your question, submit your question, it comes straight to my inbox. All right, so squat does squat, Scott, squat, Scott, Scott doesn't have a squat rack. And he wants to know about Zercher squats. Is this a decent home option until he gets a squat rack? Absolutely. Zerchers are a quality option. For those of you guys that don't know what a Zercher is, you basically put the barbell in between, in between your elbows. And you hold it up here. You kind of you keep, put the barbell here and you uh, put pressure holding your fist towards your face. And then you just squat like normal. You can do those. Um, or you can power clean the bar up and do front squat. Zerchers are a little bit easier because you don't have to power clean a super heavy weight. So yes, Zerchers are a great idea. You really have to focus on form because the weight is so forward, it can put a lot of stress on your lower back. So make, t make sure you really nail your form that you get a really tight core before each rep. So before you sink on each rep, make sure you get a tight core. Make sure that lower back is braced, not hyperextended, not hyperextended, braced. Make sure that lower back is braced. Now, I would say um, with Zercher squats that don't go for low rep sets. Don't go for doubles and triples and stuff like that. I would do rep sets. I would do six to eight to ten reps per set. Get your rep work in. Get those quads uh, moving. Get those legs strong. Um, just get the whole whole chain the whole posterior chain um, strong it'll it's a lot better than trying to do multiple sets of low low reps so that's my opinion now you can back for those of you that don't have a squat rack you can back you can back the zerchers up with body weight lunges i like to do a 50 rep finisher that's a good idea you can do goblet squats you can do three four five sets of ten on goblet squats those are a great way to work your legs at home as well and you can also do bench step up. So if you have a bench, you can do a step up onto the bench. Just alternate between left and right um, legs. What I would recommend is doing a six, eight, 10 rep set of Zercher squats and immediately supersetting it with a 20 rep set of bench step ups. So you're alternating doing 20 reps each leg. This will really build your quad strength at home. It's a, it's a quality um, option. You can also do the Zerchers and then superset it with body weight lunges, etc. So that's your best bet for those of you guys that don't have a squat rack and are training at home. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. Submit your question. It comes straight to the big, hairy, ugly dude. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.